Now, Greek builders Lambda are developing the site of the capital's former airport, which has become a symbol of Greece's economic recovery. The 650-acre site will become a new smart city with beachfront properties, a shopping mall, and a major new park. Well, joining us now for an exclusive interview is Lambda Development Chief Executive Odysseus Athanasiou. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us. I mean, this is exciting because it also shows that Greece has been uh, doing extremely well and, and will likely continue to do so. What are you most hopeful about in the real estate, commercial and otherwise, for Greece? Yeah, we. I believe. Good morning from my side uh, as well, from Sin. Uh, I would say that the, this project that you mentioned is a symbol of a new Greece, a Greece that uh, is uh, regenerating after ten, ten hard years that the whole world uh, followed uh, between 2010 and 2020. Uh, real estate is booming, and there are multiple reasons for that. One is that there is a huge imbalance between supply and demand. Supply of uh, new projects has gone down in these 10 years, and demand has gone up in the last two years. Uh, we got a lot of awareness uh, in the last uh, two years, three years, uh, because of uh, a government that is uh, very business friendly. Uh, tourism uh, has come back in big numbers from the U.S. also, and but from all uh, the West and Eastern Front uh, around Greece. And in general, we're living um, a boom that in terms of numbers mm -hmm. is shown in, in the fact that we have about 6 billion euros of foreign capital invested in uh, real estate, mainly in residential, just in the last three years, mm -hmm. compared to 1.5 billion euros in the decade between 2009 and 2019. Yeah. And so could you give me an idea of, of the kind of timeline that we're looking at for the project? So first of all, what's the value upside potential? By when will the first you know, bit of the development be delivered? Um, and, and when will it be fully finished? Yeah, the first phase of the project is about to finish in 2026, 2027. And when I say finish, I'm talking about uh, a project that in total has the size of three times Monaco, just to get a comparable. And the the first phase covers all the coastline of four kilometers that will include uh, hotels, it will include residential, malls, uh, schools, education, um, and, and uh, health uh, venues. And we expect about uh, 1,500 apartments to be ready by Christmas of 2026. And um, the population is going to be there. This is our target, along with uh, a marina in which uh, we're going to have a Riviera Galeria full of uh, high-end uh, fashion stores. F&B, meaning restaurants and cafes, uh, 300 yachts to be there, and many tourists that will have the opportunity to visit what we call zip code uh, paradise. The capex that is going to be invested in this period is close to 3 billion euros. And uh, the good thing about this project is that in just two and a half years after acquisition of the land, we produce uh, yeah. profit in the results we announced uh, yesterday. And the cash collections from the residences we have sold so far comes to close to 650 million euros. So we're very happy about this because so, uh, we have brought to the market uh, 500 apartments and they are all sold out. And so how much, for example, will this project add to the country's economy? Do you have figures for that or is it estimates? Yes, yes. Uh, based, based on uh, independent surveys, we believe that it's going to add to the GDP about 2.5 points, 2.5 percent in the Greek GDP. Uh, it's going to add uh, 70 to 8,000 uh, jobs, and it's going to bring at least 1 million uh, tourists. And we're not talking about uh, long-term future, like 10, 15 years. We're talking about in the next three years. As I said, Christmas of 26, we right. believe the first phase is going to be uh, in full mode. I mean, we're looking at, you know, profitability, some of the return on operating assets have been doing quite well, as you're saying, very recently. How much, if, when the ECB cuts rates, and at the moment markets are expecting a cut by the European Central Bank in June, does that help with further developments or just your cost of constructing? Yes, I'm not sure I heard everything that you said well, but um, if you talk about uh, the interest rates and uh, the operating assets, is this what... You include your question, is that right? Yes, on interest rates on the European Central Bank. If they cut, yes. is that beneficial yes. to okay. you? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, look, the interest rates and uh, the trend that they have followed has hurt us perception-wise because, of course, it hurt all real estate stocks globally. Uh, and that's why we have a big discount mm -hmm. in our share price, for which I'm going to talk in a minute. However, we have locked our interest rate costs because we issued two bonds 
in 2020 and 2022. Uh, the fixed coupon that we pay is 3.9 percent. We are fully locked until 2027. And by the way, these bonds are callable, so that means that if the central banks start decreasing the rates, we're gonna, we are in a position to convert this to variable interest rates from now on. But now we're locked at 3.9. Okay, so Our operating assets recorded an exceptional performance of 70 percent last year. Very interesting. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. Athanasiou there from Landa Development. He's a chief executive. This is Bloomberg.